got a special video today, and a special video is we're gonna take the steam ray tank, which you guys see on this side, it's a little cloudy. I'm going to add another filter, so I'm gonna drop another FX4 on the steam ray tank. But if it's the first time tuning in, my name is Ron Johnson, and what I do is I'm a fish enthusiast, I'm a mental health coach, and soon be a therapist. And what I do is I teach people how to live a better life and how to enjoy their hobbies, how to enjoy fish tanks, and that's why I'm shooting this video. So today's a special video as far as change that filter out because water is looking a little cloudy. I'll show you guys in a second. Set up a new FX4 on that tank so it gets double mouth filtration. Those that have our own stingrays know I have two stingrays, rain diamond. They produce a lot of ammonia and more filtration to clean the water. That's the, today's goal. Okay, I promised I would show you guys what the tank it looks like. So, let's look a little closer. You can see the water's looking a little cloudy. It should be clear. So if you look at this tank, the 180, super clear, right? Right? So I want to make this water in this tank, so make this water in this tank look as clear as this. So what I did, what you forced me to do is understand that when you want clear water, it can be a lot of different things. It can be you haven't done a water change. It can be overfeeding. It can be the fact that the passivity change. So I know now my water has been clean. My water is cloudy because the passivity change. It's been about two months. I have two stingrays in the tank. I do feed my stingrays twice a day, in the morning and at night. So that means more ammonia, more poop, and the pads are probably clipped. Probably uh, filled with poop, pretty much. That's what is happening. So if you look down here, that's the FX6 currently running the 75 with Diamond and with Ray. And I'm going to change that filtration in this tank. Actually, not filtration. Change the pads. Keep the media um, the same. I'll explain it in a second what I mean by pads and uh, biological media and mechanical media. Two different things. But change this filtration as far as putting new pads in. And you guys know I'm going to add a new FX4 to this tank. So stay tuned. I'm show you how to change your filtration, better quality for the fish. Okay, I'm back again. I have everything spread out on the table of the FS4. I have not ripped out the one on the steam ring tank. However, those that don't, don't know what FX4 fluval filter is, I'm going to show you. So first of all, it's a bucket filter, and these are the filtration pipes that are located on here. I haven't taken it apart, but they come one long filtration tube that they cut in half to make sure it's the right length. Also comes in there is filter pads, right? So the way it works, you have two filter pads, you can see. Water flows from the tank down top of here. Usually what happens, you have a coarse sponge. Underneath the coarse sponge, you have another opening, and that's where your biological media goes. And I'll talk about that. So this is considered coarse sponge. This is gonna be your mechanical filtration as well, and a sponge across here. And here's another one, the same thing. This one, the coarse sponge at the bottom. Also comes in FX4 is what we call biological media. And this is where all your beneficial bacteria grows. However, I'm not going to use the cheap rings they have. This is cheap material that comes with. What I did is I went to Amazon and I got some biohome media. So biohome media, rounded media, gravel media looks just like this, as you guys can see. Now, if you look a little closely, there's porous holes inside here, which is great because that's where all the good uh, biological filtration, I'm sorry, biological uh, things grow to make the fish build, be healthy and for good aquarium. That's where it grows right here. So it's called Nutrigen Cycle. You should go in this. So you get the cheap rings which are here and you get the good material. So I'm going to keep this for something else, emergencies, because you never know when filtration may crash or you have a new old filtration, you gotta drop some biological media in there. But I'm gonna do the cool new biohome gravel media in my tank. The rest of the side. Now, also it comes with an end plate tube, which is one of these, right? So that's where your pipe pot, pot goes in here, water filters, fil filters through here, up into the aquarium. Now, so what some people do is they take this off, they put a, put a coarse sponge on top of here. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep the way it is here. Also what comes through is your inlet and outlet valve you have here. So you can turn them on. Oh, ah, I move it. You can close it this way or open it this way so water can filter in. Also what it comes with, let me show you guys here as well, 
is your outlet valve. Okay, so this is where water actually comes out into the tank. What I'm going to do, I like to pimp my filter to increase more filtration. So I'm going to use a single with a bigger outlet instead of just dual outlet. Now, if you look a little closely, look how small these tubes are coming out, and look how big this one is. So what I'm going to do is pretty much take off. I'll show you guys right now what's going to happen. I'm going to take this, remove this plastic piece. Do I have to keep that? I'm gonna take and put it right on top of this filtration and that'll be the outlet valve. So that's how I'm gonna pimp this filter, not only with using more power through this, but also using more coarse media, right? More media has more coarse little holes inside of this, I mean, our coarse medium. So what that means is that I'm gonna pimp this filter, I'm gonna drop the last thing in my tank, I'm gonna change the filtration, that's the thing like ready to tank, and you guys will see how I make clear water with new media and also clear water with having media already in there changed out. One thing I'll let you guys know, whenever you buy gravel, this comes in a big bag, you have to wash it. Whatever's on here, you have to wash the material before you actually put it inside. So what you have to use, you can't just drop the media in there. I'm gonna use little filter socks to go on top of my media to keep everything together. So I'm used to put the media, wash it, Put it inside here, and we'll start pimping the filter. Now, the filter media on the steam ready tank, which is located here, okay? So here's the old filtration, here's the FX4. I'm now, what I'm gonna do is open it up, and let's take a look at the pads. So let me open it up real quickly, and see what it looks like. I bet it's really dirty, so we're gonna find out together, right? Now, live, what's looking like. So I can already tell, it needs to be some clean, needs to be washed out just by looking at the pipe's inlet inside the filter itself. So I'm gonna open it. Not too bad. Not too bad. Let me show you guys what I mean by not too bad. Let me take the camera off and show you guys what I mean by that. Okay, so what I mean by not too bad is you can see the sponge here on top. Ah, there it is. See all that dirt? See the sponge on top is dirty. So I'm gonna throw that away. I'm gonna throw the sponge away. See, I have a lot of coarse sponges in here I'm gonna throw away and replace with brand new coarse sponge here, as you guys can see on the side that I already had. Because you can see what's happening is the reason why this tank is turning cloudy compared to this tank is because the filter pads need to be changed. Remember, if we, if we eat Ray and Diamond twice a day, pads are dirty and full, so I'm gonna throw that away. What I did is that in this filter that's already in the tank, I kept the media, which had all the good biological filtration at the bottom, water on the floor, and I kept the pads that were there. What I did change out, the coarse sponge where the water flows into, I added some gravel, as you guys can see the gravel inside there, and I also added a new coarse sponge at the bottom. So. That way, it's not much shock to the fish. I'm not messing up the fish cycle. So I'm gonna throw these two together, throw it on that tank, and we'll get started again. So now I'm working on my brand new FX4. So again, it's the same filtration system as the old one. The old one, I just changed the course pad. You guys saw me do that. So now I'm working on a new one. Now, what I want to do with my new filter is I wash all the biological, sorry, biological medium. This is considered chemical medium. So this one pad it came with, and I brought other pads I can custom make online, cutting them more. So I'm gonna probably recut this one because I want to fill in all the gaps. So you can go online at Amazon, you can buy different pads and cut it to size. It's much more cheaper than trying to buy it there already. So the way it's going to work, water's going to flow on top of here, 
through all the um, mechanical filtration, which are your pads. It's going to flow down to the biological media, which is my gravel I have, and then flow back up. But remember, you also have biological media in the pads here. Now, the difference is, if this was a new filtration, I would not put it on this tank, okay? Because very sensitive species there already. What happened is I want to add extra filtration. So I already have good um, a cycle on this tank with the already media inside the old FX4. I just changed the pads out. Only the, the coarse pads on top. Also at the same time, I have new pads in there so that way all that the tank can clear up. I don't use any mechanical, sorry, chemical, not mechanical, chemical filtration on my tank. I don't use any um, charcoal. I don't use any purigen. I use pretty much change of water three to four times, three times a week at least. 25% every single time. I use my coarse pads. I do water testing. I really are sensitive about these species. Some, some fish get away with changes. Stingrays can be very sensitive, especially with all the ammonia and, and the cycle it has. So, this one is ready to go. I'm gonna put it on this tank again, and we're gonna have double filtration, clear up the water, and that way I can add more stingrays in the future, or because I feed them twice a day, it makes sense to have more filtration. You can never go wrong with more filtration. Never go wrong with more filtration, okay? The only difference is you don't go wrong when you try to slap a brand new uh, filtration on a tank that does, has not been cycled yet. You can always do this. If you have a tank at home, you wanna get it cycled fast. You buy Fritz Complete. You also couldn't do this, which I did already. Find a tank that already has good biological media and chemical media, take that filtration off that tank, put it on a new tank, and that makes it cycle faster. So, I'm gonna get this ready. Put it on this tank, we're almost done. And always, thanks for listening and being patient there, you guys out there. Okay, so I am done. I didn't film all of it for exactly, but I'm done. Both filters, as you guys can see, are on the tank. The new one to the left, old one to the right. On the old one, I replaced the pads that were there. So the tank is looking a little cloudy, which is expected, as you guys can see. A little cloudy. Again, what is expected. However, let's get about 24 hours. The cloudiness should go down and we should be fine. And the good thing about this is my hobby is finished. I'm happy. My fishing in a better environment. And let's talk about this. As we get to the end of the year and as we reflect, I think it's important that we spend time reflecting on what we want, but more importantly, reflect on how far we come. Most of the time, steps are realized, steps are made at a micro level. Now, something I heard in the movie Any Given Sunday, one half a step too slow or too fast, you don't get there. One half a step too slow or too fast, you don't quite catch it. Any Given Sunday with LL Cool J said that. And what that means is that every step you make in your life is crucial to the overall goal. Often enough, we look at the big goal, or I call it the mac macro goal, and say, oh, I'm not there yet, I'm not there yet. But yet, you're winning along the way. As I make mistakes in my hobby or I learn how to take care of my animals better, I'm growing. So I can become the better fish keeper because about the micro steps. So again, everything in life is about inches. And one half a step too slow or too fast, you don't get there. One half a step too slow or too fast, you don't quite catch it. The inches are everywhere around us. So reflect, take a look at the micro steps and you will get there. And always guys, stay fishy. This is Ron Johnson, mental health coach, fish enthusiast, and soon to be therapist. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share. I like to help you guys out there. Thanks for listening.